And it's one thing to hear about Cleveland's renaissance, it's another to see it. In Tremont, you'll spot new businesses alongside the famous restaurants that made Professor Avenue. Good morning, Cleveland's Jackie Fernandez is showing you how one of our city's oldest neighborhoods is getting a brand new look. It's a comforting sound. Around the corner, open storefronts, babies in strollers, locals drinking coffee. But this is not the birds. It's Tremont. I remember back in the early 80s when you know, they used to call this park Needle Park. I mean, it was, it was scary around here. That image, long gone. This neighborhood has just been booming. And what they've done at the, again, with Lincoln Park, it's one of the prettiest parts of the city. John McDonnell is about to open Merchant Street. He had hot spots in Ohio City and Rocky River, but there is nowhere else he wants to be. I love Tremont. He's not the only one. My dreams growing up as a kid was to open up my own business, and Tremont just seemed so perfect for that. Danny Risk opened Beviamo Cafe a month ago and already has regulars. But what sticks out to him the most is a response from the competition. The great thing is all the business owners love to work together. They're all supporting each other. In the past six months, how many businesses have opened? I'd say about a dozen. Corey Reardon says expect to see even more. One apartment complex is opening this year. Another two are being planned. A Constantino's grocery store will open in 2017. Add to that another six to seven stores set to open. We've seen hundreds of millions of dollars of investment pipelined in this community. It's something longtimer Nancy Holsuckle has been waiting for. She opened Civilization Coffee Shop 25 years ago. We're actually seeing a really, real secure base, which is what makes a neighborhood. Speaking of a secure base, the folks at Tremont West Development tell me they are working closely with police to keep that neighborhood safe. They want to make sure the string of armed robberies and carjackings they saw last year doesn't happen again. In the studio, Jackie Fernandez.